This is the uh, inside of the four tropical mammal room. Um, Prosimians, binturong, uh, a variety of zoo type mammals. And this is a inside, it's a bit echoey because we appreciate that we still need to you know, deck this out with enrichment. We've got um, air conditioning that controls temperature an average of 16 degrees, but it raises and lowers to whatever's required. And there's um, a Wi-Fi connector. I do wonder how long that will last with certain primates, but I'm sure we can protect that, etc. That'll be the viewing door from how the animals will see out, or the hygiene clad wall, um, where we obviously still got areas to complete and finish. Um, but lovely height there. It's really, really high. It's, in fact, the, um, the video recorder doesn't really do it justice. And then there's the sliding door system where they go outside to a prepared rock wall. And we've got a uh, drainage system, the top hat drainage system to capture particles, etc. Of course, we want to make use of the walls, so then we'll be adding rock wall or um, uh, the actual rock climbing particles that you use inside for, for the kids like to do on out on adventure parks, etc, etc. So the system is double glazed. Uh, we can colour up the windows if we require to or if that's required for whatever species. And this is an apex roof. We've got two very, very tall enclosures. And then we move down to still a very generous sized enclosure uh, where we can have mixed exhibits for ground living animals and arboreal animals if we decide to. Um, but again, there's lots of scope and excitement and different ideas that are keeping the minds of the keepers happy. I'm sure they can't wait to, to work in this particular environment. The walls are all hygiene clad outside to allow for hygiene and management system. This can also work, work as a double door system as approved when working with various zoological institutions. Now, I'm going to take you on a tour around for the exit door, which we have the sort of touch button systems that we have here. Um, out into the aviaries, his Australasian aviary with the um, Swainson's lorikeets having fun uh, and the swift parakeets. And we go to these large, tall exhibits. They're really, really tall, um, some five meters in height, which we've decided to use the zoo wire because it's uh, finger proof. There'll be a perimeter hedge situated around the outside. And of course, the zoo fencing around the perimeter. Again, as I say, the hedges with this zoo wire. I'm sure you've all heard of the zoo wire, uh, where it's quite nice to film directly through and also incredibly strong. So although there's risk of getting leaves, um, we can use leaf blowers to clear and various things. I'm sure there'll be different uh, challenges given and there'll be a internal door system used for actually gaining entry going into obviously still needs to be enriched fully planted but uh, it's difficult to give a size um, it probably looks smaller in comparison to, to where I'm standing obviously because I'm filming but uh, this rock wall's rather fantastic um, I'm really pleased with the gentleman that provided that to us and the uh, Sliding door systems, we don't 